Hey guys and hello, welcome to the second tutorial that I'm going to make for you guys and I'm going to show you guys how to install Freestyle Dash 3.775. That's the latest version currently. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it and how to launch it on your Xbox. So uh, this is, will be in the description so don't worry about that. So once you have that, let it do this for a second. Always does that, I don't know why. Yeah, okay, expired. Uh, once you have opened the RAR file, just extract the freestyle-3.775 onto your desktop. I already done that, and it will contain all of this. Just put this folder, just simply put the freestyle folder onto your desktop, or onto your, uh, <laughs> sorry, onto a USB stick. So I'll get my USB stick real quick. Sorry for the small interruption, I had to get my uh, USB stick, but now it's all plugged in, so now I'm going to open it up. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Uh, I can delete all of this. Let me delete this real quick. Wait, this will take a while. I will pause it for So once you have your USB stick here, you're going to put this freestyle dash folder onto your USB stick. I'll let this finish for a second. It's still going so damn slow. Oh, there we go. It goes a little bit faster now. So I will see you guys in a second on the X. So I'm already in XCX menu because my Xbox there was something wrong for a second. So I'm in I'm in XCX menu now. You press right bumper, press X to go to USB stick. Then you click on your uh, Freestyle Dash. I recall I renamed it because I already have Freestyle Dash installed. So click copy, click X again, go to your hard drive, and paste. This can take a second, not too long, I guess, if I'm right. <laughs> now it's almost done. There we go, it's done. So once you have done that, you're going to your Freestyle Dash version. You're going to click the default.xex. And boom, you will boot into Freestyle Dash. And what's so nice about Freestyle Dash, you can, you can set F... So, jeez. You can set up FTP, you can you can do just a lot of stuff. Look here. So you can go to general settings, you can link your GQ360 account, which is now xboxunity.com, I think. Uh, I will link them in the description. Uh, you can set up your weather, but then you need to generate a weather I API key. Um, yeah, this, I never use this. <laughs> Content settings, you can set up uh, game paths. So what they mean with that is you can set up a game path. So basically you can search for your games. So mine are on hard drive one. A little bit down here. And I will select Black Ops 2 for example right now. Once you're in Black Ops 2 you're gonna click Y on the top folder. So the dot dot folder. So here you see I have three here you see I have three um, how do you call that? Uh, three paths. HDD1, Games, and Black Ops 2. So we're going to scan depth and change that to 3. You're going to select Xbox 360 because it's a regular Xbox 360 game. And you're going to click X to save changes. So now it should pop up in our game manage thingy. <laughs> Here, at Xbox 360 games. It should pop up now. There we go, Black Ops 2 all completely set up so the covers don't automatically download if I'm right or they do but if I will still make a tutorial about that so you can also set this up because this is in my opinion like extremely ugly this is like ugh. so you can go to skins and set up your skin so this is the default skin plus press X to customize 
And here you can just change everything you want to change. So I will go for, let's say, this one for ocean blue. And I will delete, uh, I will click now stage here. And you can not only change the background, you can also change the tiles, you know, the, the, the tiles that you just saw a second ago. So how to do that is click Y. And then you have to click right stick on your controller. So uh, what's it called on Xbox? I don't know. So right two or something or the right, just the right joystick. You have to just press that and they can customize it. So for example, I like this one, the front one. So the, the blue one here, open tray. Then you click, first you can click, uh, click, so geez. You can click X to apply to menu. So you see how it looks and you're like, oh yeah, it looks good. Uh, when you're sure it looks good, you can press Y to apply to the whole dash. So the whole dash looks like this now. Press press Start to save changes. And then click X to save changes and return. Go back. And here is your nice looking Freestyle Dash version. So that's basically it. If you want more tutorials about Freestyle Dash and more things, you want to know more things about Freestyle Dash, leave a comment in the comment section below. I will answer it or I will make a tutorial about it. Next tutorial is gonna be installing Dash Launch. That's where you're gonna install all your plugins with and you're gonna block Xbox Live like that. You can install a stealth service so you can go online. There's a lot of stuff you can do there. So I will show you guys in the next episode and I will see you guys later. Peace.